Hi, my name is Mr. Goodell, and today I'm going to show you how to embed elements into Schoology so they present a little bit better. So I have my online art syllabus here that I'm going to put into Schoology under my resources folder. Um, but if I just put it in as a link, it turns out looking a little bit like this, just small text, kind of hard to read. I have some hyperlinks in here that are a little hard to interact with. So this just isn't the greatest presentation. Now, if I go back to my resources folder, you'll see I've actually already completed this whole step. And this is what it should look like to be a little bit more readable and easier to interact with. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to go back to my resources folder. I'm going to go to add materials. I'm going to go down to add page. I'm going to click on add page. Now I'm going to scroll up. The key point you need to remember is right here. You want to click that little dot. It's switched to HTML. I wish they would have made it a little bit more obvious, like actually put HTML or a little embed icon, but it's just this little dot. You click it over. Then you need to go get your embed. Code. Now this sounds crazy, like when you mention HTML, people will start getting a little scared or whatever. It's really easy to do. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go down to Publish to Web. This has already been published to the web. So it might ask you, like, when you click the embed, you're going to click right here. It's going to ask, like, do you want to publish it? Just click yes. But here's the code right here. I'm going to make this a, a little bit larger so you can see it there. It's just iframe code. Again, you don't have to know HTML or anything like that. All you have to do is click on it, copy it. Go back over to Schoology, right click, click paste, title it. I'm just going to call this S2 for the sake of this example. Click create. I'm going to go down here and check on it. And there it is. It's as easy as that. You don't have to know any special coding skills or anything like that. All you need to know is copy and paste. And this looks a lot better and a lot more easier to interact. For example, like I have things like how to um, work with your Chromebook, so forth and so on. All I have to do is actually click on the link right there and it opens it right up.